So I've been working on this picture for a while and you know roughed in the background and everything and then roughed in the pandanus tree and I was reasonably happy with the water until I did the pandanus tree. <laughs> um, and the water looked great but as soon as I put the pandanus tree in there it changed all the colour values of the water. So now the water looks kind of lurid and garish. So I've got to come back now and repaint parts of the water. Now that seems like a big deal but when you practice brush technique and this is why people bang on about spending time on the brushes and, and, and manipulating the paint and even if it's just on a blank canvas and, and playing with your paint when you understand what the paint will do and what your brush will do being able to go back and work into something um, that once would be complicated becomes a lot easier so I'm going to go through now and just take out some of that kind of luminous purple and I'll paint back into bits and pieces but it just illustrates that a brush technique is important but um, that making a painting is always this or a compelling painting anyways there's always this kind of push and pull and and you know putting values and colors next to one another and then recalibrating other colors and things like that so um, you have to be willing to get in and and dig around in the bones of a painting even though it's almost finished. So this colour is a little garish and I just want to take some of that purple out of it so I've mix, mixed some French ultramarine blue and I'm just strategically on the sort of the crest of the waves or on the crest of some of these bits of chop putting a little highlight like that to suggest that the the light that's close to the horizon is being reflected on the surface of the water and that theoretically should kill some of that uh, dioxazine purple that I put in there before because originally I used dioxazine purple and phthalo blue which is a lovely color but too much <laughs> can be a bad thing so I'm just using a very dry brush here and just picking up the tops of those bits of chop and hopefully that will give it another dimension and hide that garishness can actually overdo this if you go a bit too light, it's weird. I'm not going to put too much of this highlight colour on there because even though I want to diminish that kind of garish luminous colour 
I'm going to leave a bit of it there. When you've been working on a canvas for a little while, sometimes it gets a bit saggy like that. So I've got a little strategy that fixes that, but you need to have a good quality stretcher bar to be able to do this. I've got my helper here. Um, so when your canvas gets a bit um, saggy, <laughs> I just do this. And I spread the water around, get the surface nice and wet. Got two helpers here. Anyone who has one of my paintings will also get dog hair. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the surface is really sodden. All right, and as that dries, that should tighten up again. Tightening up already. So I, I changed the shape of a few leaves here and there before. And so now I'm just gonna clean around those edges, tidy it up a bit. So I, I feel a little bit happier with that now. I seem to have smashed some of that garish purpley kind of color. Um, so I'll get back to my pandanus tree. Now, if you like that, make sure you like us, uh, subscribe, or become a member, or all three. <laughs>